What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of ENA. We got time. I'm Alex. First off, I want to shout out to subscribers, everybody who tuned into the channel. Um, every week, we will be giving away $20 via Cash App to the subscriber who picks the most game rights under the comments in this video. So let's kick it off with Thursday night's game. We got the Titans at Jags. I got the Titans. With this one, you know, Jacks have a backup quarterback starting, you know, the whole Jalen Ramsey thing going on. He wants to get traded. He feels as though they're losing franchise. He wants out. He wants to win. Not not exactly going to get too much into that, but a man has the right to say what he wants to say. I just feel as though the Titans are a more complete team. They're more together, well put. So I have the Titans going to the Jags, winning this game, and that's how I'm calling that one. Next up, we got the Bengals at Bills. I do have the Bills winning. Um, the Bengals just gave up 41 points to the 49ers, which is uh, no slack to the 49ers, but the Bengals haven't been a really good football team in a while. That defense is not impressive whatsoever. Like I said, they just gave up 41. The Bills are coming off a good win um, against the Giants. They're playing at home. I just feel like the Bills get a... Uh, Get a good start to this game now. They'll finish this thing out. Next up, we got um, Dolphins at Cowboys. Dolphins have pretty much given up on the entire season. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. They just traded their probably best defensive player. So the Cowboys, they're, they're doing pretty good. Um, they haven't really played too much competition thus far, but I still feel as though Dallas' offense is going to look good in this game. Their defense is going to look good. And it's in Jerry World. So I have Dallas winning this game pretty easily. Next up, we have Broncos at Packers. I have the Packers win this one pretty easily. The Broncos really haven't shown me too much this year so far. The Packers' defense, on the other hand, has improved. Um, Aaron Rodgers is completely healthy. And that's something we haven't seen in a while. So I have the Packers beating the Broncos at home. Probably game of the week for me, we have the Ravens at Chiefs. I want to say Lamar Jackson has really impressed me this year. Um, he's getting a lot better with throwing the football. But at the end of the day, the Chiefs just put up way too many points. They're playing at home. I just don't I don't see a way that the Ravens can, can stop uh, Patrick Mahomes in that high-powered offense. I do think it's going to be a really good game, so I don't think it's going to be a blowout whatsoever. I just think at the end of the day, Chiefs will, will, will come on top. I, I predict this game to be um, very close, probably about seven, eight points. Next up, we have the Raiders at Vikings. Um, This one's going to be pretty hard. Um, Kirk Cousins really hasn't shown me all that much, even with those two great receivers. Davin Cook's been playing lights out all year. So I think this is going to come down to um, who's going to play better, Kirk Cousins or Derek Carr. I know um, Derek Carr's number one receiver, Tyrell Williams. He's questionable. He, he'll he probably play. But I think with, you know, the purple, peep, the purple people eaters, that defense, I think they'll, they'll find a way to win this game. So even though I'm not sold on either quarterback, I have the Vikings winning this game at home. Next up, we got the Jets at Patriots. Jets, they had eight starters, I want to say, out in the last game. They're down to that third-string quarterback, and they're going to the Patriots. I have the Patriots win this game pretty clearly. Um, Jets are just too hurt. The Patriots' defense has been playing lights out. Um, if you play fantasy, I would not start Le'Veon Bell. But at the same time, he's probably going to be all that they have. I know everybody was excited for Robbie Anderson to come back, but over the course of his career, he hasn't really done all that much against the Patriots defense. So hopefully it's a good game, but I really don't have this game being all that good. Um, Patriots probably won this game by about two scores, probably 14, 14 points. Next up, we have Lions at Eagles. I have the Eagles winning this game. Um, even though the, they've been pretty bruised up, I want to say in practice, they had about seven starters who um, did not participate. I still believe that they are a better team than the Lions. The Lions just tied with Arizona, who's not that great of a football team. I believe that Carson Wentz is going to find a way to win this game at home. It's going to be close, but I do have 
the Eagles winning this game unless something foreseen happens like um, Zach Ertz and Alshon Jeffrey don't play. I have the Eagles winning this game. Next up, we have Steelers at 49ers. Now, beginning of the season, I would have had the Steelers win this game pretty easily. But no Big Ben. James Conner has been playing all that well. Juju still hasn't adapted. Like I've said in previous videos, he hasn't adapted to being a number one. James Washington hasn't stepped up yet to be a number two in my perspective. So I just feel as though the only way the Steelers could possibly win this game is if those two guys really emerge and they really do well. So I have the 49ers winning this game at home. I do think it'll be close. I really do because the Steelers defense even though they haven't shown me all that much, I mean, they played the Patriots week one. I mean, that's that's a very tall order. Um, with the new addition, new addition safety, I believe that they'll put up a fight against the 49ers, but in all the 49ers will win this game. Next up, we have Saints at Seahawks. Once again, starting quarterbacks out, no Drew Brees. Teddy Bridgewater is a decent backup quarterback. He is the highest paid backup quarterback. And, you know, now he has a chance to earn his money. But I think that offense is going to be way too bland to score enough points, especially in Seattle. That's one of the loudest crowds, loudest places to play at. So I do I do expect the Saints to have some problems there. Seahawks, they've been looking pretty, pretty good this year with the addition of DK Metcalf. I think he really, really helps that offense. Saints secondary is a little skeptical so i have seattle winning this game at home um pretty pretty clearly i th i don't think it'll be a blowout but i think they'll have a commanding lead throughout the entire game next up we have giants at bucks now as you all know i'm a giants fan and i've tried to pull for them the last two games now i know we do have daniel jones starting i liked what he he did through the preseason i like to call him you know, um, the new Alex Smith. I, I like uh, Alex Smith, probably my favorite quarterback, just because, you know, he can throw, he can scramble a little bit, he doesn't turn the ball over. Now, I know he got the name checked down Alex, but he does have a lot of wins in his career. And I think that um, Daniel Jones can do that. Um, I think he helps the offense by being a mobile. And I don't think the Bucks' defense is all that good. But I think the Bucks at home win this game, being as though it's his first start. He's playing away. I think he has to get those first game jitters out. I would love, I would love to go with the Giants, but I have the Bucks winning at home on this one. Now to the Sunday night game. Rams at Browns. Now I know that all this hype about the Browns beginning of the season. Maybe everybody, you know, put too much well, they put too much pressure on themselves. Um the offensive line isn't really that good. They they have almost 20 penalties already to start the season and we're only in week three. So that's really not good. I think the Rams defense is gonna do a really good job. You know, Aaron Donald showing some flashes last week, getting a breeze, getting a Kamara. I think the fact that the the Browns offensive line isn't um isn't so well. I think Aaron Donald will show some good flashes again. And I also believe that the Rams receiving core, I think they'll do a pretty good job of moving the ball down the field. I like what they're doing, Ty Gurley, mixing him in and out the lineup, you know, keeping him fresh, keeping his legs fresh. So I have the Rams winning at the Browns just because, you know, the team isn't, it's too much talent, not enough discipline, points, point blank. And the last game of the week, we have Bears at Redskins. This game, um, could possibly be the beginning of the end of Case Keenum starting. The Bears defense has been playing really, really good over the last two weeks. I'm still not sold on Mr. Trubisky, but I think he can do enough if that defense can cause, you know, two or three turnovers, get get a couple three and outs. I think the Bears can win this game. So I have the Bears winning at the Redskins. Once again, I want to salute all the subscribers, all the all the people who show love on the channel. Thank y'all again. This is week three, ENA. We got time, and I'm signing up. Peace.